Hey everyone, this is Chris with Overclockers Club. I got a couple neat goodies here from Anki. We've got this new DVR box. It's got a one terabyte hard drive included. Eight channel BNC, plus it'll pick up an additional two IP cameras. And then over here we got a couple of these little 1080p uh, outdoor cameras. Uh, you purchase separately here, but we'll get all this stuff out here and let's take a look at it. So if you're new to the world of security cameras, um, you might notice something a little different about the back of this box. We've got eight channels here, eight connectors. They're called BNC connectors. And what that stands for, here's the mating connector there for these. This is the male and the female. BNC stands for Bayonet Neil or Nile Councilman. I might be slaughtering the name there, but it's actually named after the two inventors. Uh, this has been around since around 1951. Several different flavors of it over the years. This is a very common one here. I don't know the exact style, but it is pretty common. Uh, years ago, this was pretty much all you had for connecting cameras and closed circuit systems. And then uh, with the advent of Wi-Fi and uh, wireless uh, Ethernet IP cameras for especially uh, residential or consumer grade, uh, you don't see these quite as often on, on those types of uh, camera systems. You do see them, but they're more on commercial systems. Uh, but anyway, this system does have it. So the way this works, this connector sort of plugs over. you got to line up. It's got some slots there that you rotate into position, but you sort of line it up. You push it on, and then the collar here is spring-loaded, if you can see. But it's spring-loaded a little bit, so you slide it over like that, and then you rotate it into position, and it locks, so it can't go anywhere. And once it's on there, uh, you don't have to worry about anything coming loose, you don't have to worry about anything falling off, you don't have to tighten it. And then to remove it, you just twist it to the side, uh, it's ready to be released, and you just pull it off there. Now this one's a little stiff because it's brand new, but that's how those work. Very convenient, and very reliable. Now the DVR box here has a one terabyte hard drive that comes included. There are the three screws there that hold the hard drive in. And then looking at the back uh, I.O. panel here again, we have the eight BNC connectors for eight channels. We have a VGA output, HDMI uh, output. We have two RCA jacks there for audio in and out. Ethernet port, two USB ports, and then your power supply plugs in right there, uh, 12 volt power supply. So. Um, and once we get it plugged in, we can see what the lights look like on the front there. As far as the other hardware that comes with it, you got your adapter, HDMI cable, comes with a mouse so you can get rolling right away, and an Ethernet cable. Now as for the cameras, I, I purchased these separately. So obviously I've got two here, but I'll have six more channels plus whatever IP cameras I want to try and uh, get hooked up here. But each camera, this was in a two camera kit, but each camera comes with a 60 foot uh, section of cable here and it has your BNC and your power all run together. Each one of these sides has the BNC and the power right there, just like that. And you get two of those, one per camera, 60 feet. You get a single adapter for both cameras and what they do is they use a splitter here. So your adapter plugs in here, and then you split the power to each camera uh, off that way. It tees off of this uh, splitter. Now the cameras are 1080p. Uh, they've got three mounting screws on the bottom. You get a little hardware kit there. It's basically just some concrete anchors. But each camera has a short section here with your BNC connector and then your power lead. The cameras are called dome cameras. So you can mount it up against a wall or to a ceiling and you can move it around here to adjust your angle and it's stiff enough that it's not going to go anywhere once you position it where you want. Plastic housing and uh, I'll go over the specs. So the DVR box here is capable of using H.265 plus for your video compression or your video coding so you get a little more uh, of a condensed amount of video onto a hard drive. So you can get away with using a smaller hard drive. Uh, smaller capacity is basically what that amounts to. Uh, you've got eight channels, analog, high definition, 
plus two channels uh, for IP cameras. Uh, it does support OnVIF version 17.12, which makes it nice for adding cameras other than Anki. If, they're, if they support OnVIF, then there's a pretty good chance you can use them with this. Your hard drive capacity is up to six terabytes, so it comes with one terabyte, but you can upgrade it up to six. And now we can go with the cameras. Specifications here, you've got 1080p high definition video, up to 100 feet or 30 meters of night vision. They're IP66 rated for outdoor use. You can use them indoor if you want, but they are rated for outdoor use. You got smart IR cut for video, uh, for vivid video image, and we'll look at that when we go between uh, daylight and nightlight, or uh, nighttime. Uh, let's see, we've got a 3.6 millimeter lens. Operating temperature is minus 20 C up to 50 C, so you got a pretty good range. And that's really the meat and potatoes there. Oh, the image sensor is a third inch one-third inch color CMOS. So now what I'll do is get this plugged in and powered up so we can uh, access all of the features through a separate monitor here and then we'll get the cameras rolling and then uh, ultimately get them mounted so that we can see what the images look like. Alright, I have power to the main DVR unit. I got both cameras plugged in and uh, powered up and now we're ready to start entering the information into the system and of course I already walked through the manual here and it looks to be pretty complete so I'm going to follow the steps and hopefully we should be back with a camera view. I've had this system set up and running now for uh, a few weeks and I've been becoming familiar with how it all works and it's quite interesting there's a lot of uh, control you have over this system. Now the main view here, the cameras that I bought with the system, the Anki cameras, uh, this is the first camera here. This one is an indoor uh, application and the next one here I'm going to move over. This is the uh, outdoor. Whoops. If it sits idle for very long you have to uh, put your password in. But I went ahead and plugged a keyboard in. Oops, wrong password. Let's try this again. There we go. Okay, so back to what I was saying. This is the inside uh, camera, and I took the other one and mounted it outside. You can just click and drag your different screens over to the main screen. But anyway, so this is the outside camera, and you can see the image there. And these other two cameras, this one here and this one here, these are occupied by the IP slots. And if you remember, uh, this is an eight channel system. I bought two of the uh, BNC cameras to go with it. And then you have uh, six additional channels for BNC connections and two IP cameras, up to two. And I was able to uh, connect to these two IP cameras pretty easily. So that's kind of a nice feature there. Um, you can see the quality of the image there. It's very clear, very nice. The colors are quite vivid. Uh, the outside camera, now it's overcast outside, so the colors are a little more muted. And there's the front camera. But uh, what I wanted to point out here is if you right click in the screen, you get this menu across the top. And this is where you basically start all of your controls. Now if you click on the menu, this here is where you can look at the playback. So I can look at uh, the normal playback, I can click uh, on a specific date and a specific camera over here on the right, and I can bring up uh, different playback events. Uh, the other thing I found interesting here, you can go into the camera setup, and this is where you set up uh, all, all the different channels. You set up your image quality, you set up your motion zones, your motion detection zones here. So you can select areas that you want to mask so that they don't set off a motion event. So you can spend some time on each camera and sort of customize it. So this is really nice, but there's a lot of stuff you can do here. This is your on-screen display where you can change where the information appears, what corner of the screen, and then the format, the day and time format, uh, things of that nature. So you really have a lot of uh, 
control over the system. There's a section here under system maintenance that you can get in and look at the hard drive and uh, look at the performance of the hard drive and detect the uh, health of the hard drive, which is nice. Uh, the other thing I like here is your net detect. You can look at the network traffic coming through the system and sort of monitor uh, that. You can upgrade the firmware. There's just a lot going on here. I've never really seen a system that you can customize to this degree. You can set up recording schedules if you want certain cameras to record at certain times. Uh, you can set up the recording parameter whether it's 1080p or the 5 megapixel. If I want to look at a playback event, I come over here to playback. There's normal, but I want to look at events. And the time range, I'll just look at today. And it does a search, brings up all the events from today. And I can just pick one here. So there's the front. This is one of the IP cameras. It's picking up the traffic there out on the street. If we go back to a little earlier okay so here I am uh, I had to go outside and fix a piece of siding that had come loose and again this is one of the IP cameras but it picked me up but you can go back and look at the various events for a, a specific date or for a range of dates again there's one of the front cameras picking up traffic But I was really surprised at how quickly it will search through the dates. So this goes back, uh, I picked December 3rd till today, which is the 14th. So it does a quick search. More than 2,000 results. So only the first 2,000 will be displayed. And we are not going to go through 2,000 events. I can tell you that. but. Here's one, okay, there's a vehicle that went by, tripped off one of my front lights. So this is one of the cameras I have mounted out front. It's one of the IP cameras. So it is going to pick up on a lot of stuff happening as far as traffic. The occasional snowflake. And you can adjust the sensitivity on the cameras. So I think the next thing here I'll show you, uh, I've got some captured video that I'll go ahead and uh, stitch together a few daytime and nighttime events so you can see some of the video quality. Fair amount of time with this little system here from Anki. It is eight channels that are BNC connections and you can add up to two IP cameras. There's the actual model number there. Right now this unit, the DVR box that you see there, comes with a one terabyte hard drive. It lists for about $179 but I just saw it on Amazon for about $115. That's quite a deal for this system. Now it doesn't come with any cameras, you have to add your own cameras. And the two cameras that I got uh, were 
$49 for the pair. So $25 a camera, not bad. I don't know how long this price will hold, but that's a pretty good deal. And the degree and depth that you can drill down into the controls and parameters, uh, very nice with this system. I really like it. So I would give this the Overclockers Club Gold Award. This is Chris with Overclockers Club. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.